the 2023 MLB regular season is over. <laughs> That was a little dramatic. But here are my 2023 postseason predictions. Starting off in the American League between the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays, I'd say this is going to be the closest matchup in the wild card series. For starting pitching, for the Rangers, they got Jordan Montgomery, Nathan Evaldi, and Andrew Heaney at their 1, 2, and 3. And the Tampa Bay Rays have Glass now, Eflin, and Civale. So I think the Tampa Bay Rays have better pitching, but I think Texas might have one of the best lineups in baseball. So I'm going to go with an underdog here, and I'm going to choose the Texas Rangers to move on. Between the Twins and the Blue Jays, the Twins are the worst team who made the playoffs record wise for the American League, but I don't want to underestimate them. They do got a pretty good top of the rotation with Sonny Gray and Pablo Lopez, but the Blue Jays have Kevin Gosman and Chris Bassett. And if it comes to a game three, the Twins would have Joe Ryan and the Jays would have either Kikuchi or Barrios. So I'm going to go with the Blue Jays to move on here. For the NL, we got the Diamondbacks and the Brewers. Milwaukee has a sick one through three in their lineup Corbin Burns, Woodruff, and Peralta. The Diamondbacks kind of have an interesting choice here, putting, I think his name's Fat. Fat is their starting pitcher for game one. And they got Zach Allen and Merrill Kelly. The Diamondbacks have a pretty good lineup, but I still have the Brewers moving on. Between the Marlins and Phillies, the Phillies have Wheeler and Nola. The Marlins, it's going to hurt them losing El Contra, but they got Jesus Lazardo and Garrett as their one, two. But the Phillies are going to move on here because I think they have a better lineup. Moving on to the ALDS, I'm going to have the Texas Rangers and the Baltimore Orioles playing each other. And that's going to be a very tough series. The Orioles have good pitching and a good lineup. Texas Rangers, probably the best lineup in the AL. And if Max Scherzer's back, that's going to be huge for them. But the Rangers bullpen isn't great, so I'm going to choose the Orioles to move on. For the Blue Jays and Astros, this season the Blue Jays have improved a lot with their pitching. Their lineup hasn't been as great, but the lineup has a lot of potential. Blue Jays might have one of the best rotations in the MLB, but the Astros are pretty nasty too. Really good lineup, pretty solid pitching. Christian Javier is having a down season, and Verlander is not always the best in the playoffs. So I'm going to go with an underdog pick here again. We're going to go with the Blue Jays to move on. For the NLDS, we got the Brewers and the Dodgers. The Brewers have some great starting pitching, but I think their lineup could still use some work and the Dodgers have great starting pitching and a great lineup so I'm gonna have the Dodgers move on the Braves and Phillies now the Braves probably have the best lineup in all of baseball Acuna probably gonna win an MVP Matt Olson hit over 50 home runs the Phillies also have a really good lineup with a lot of power like Kyle Schwarber and Bryce Harper and the Phillies pitching is actually pretty good too but I'm gonna have the Braves move on so in the ALCS we got the Orioles and the Blue Jays and as much as I want to choose my favorite team the Blue Jays to move on I'm just not gonna do it the Orioles have pretty much destroyed the Blue Jays most of the times they play them in the regular season so i'm going to choose the orioles to move on you know i can't be too biased right for the nlcs we got the dodgers and the braves the top two teams in the nl they both have good pitching both have good lineups but one of them's a bit better so in the world series we got the baltimore orioles which i didn't think i would be saying at the beginning of the season so we got the orioles playing against the atlanta braves winning the 2023 world series in six games we have the Atlanta Braves. I rank the best player at every letter of the alphabet. So if you want to watch that video, click right here.